You know what? I, I don't want to go into lava. Yeah, seriously, I, I don't want to go into lava. Let's move the needle somewhere else. Doria had the right idea. The needle was right outside her house, and he had to solve a puzzle. We don't put it behind layers and layers of really, really hot rocks. <sighs> Welcome back to Mother 3. We're going to have to go to a volcano area. Yeah, I feel the heat already, don't you? Luckily, I've been over-leveling Duster a little bit here on some of the enemies. He's level 36 now! So the enemies should leave us alone for the most part. Of course, I do have to fight a few just for you to see them. Like the Sky Titani! He was running away from us and I got a back attack off. These guys are pretty easy to take care of even though they have a moderately high defense if you don't overlevel. But they have stuff like hypnosis and charging and... All that stuff that you would find in an enemy like a Titani. And this one here! I also back attack her. I say her because it's Miss Lava! You don't get to see her front. I kill her right now with bashing. That's right, you don't need to see her. You'll probably see her again anyway. By that, I mean no. I hope I never get to see this one again. Because it has Fire Gamma! It's ridiculous! Don't suffer these enemies. They'll set you ablaze. And we also got some Double Jerky. Well, that's a good consolation prize, I guess. We're just gonna stand right here because that guy's on the phone. We don't want to be rude. Yeah, I heard about Facade. I heard he was still alive. He got a huge makeover. So he's the... the six million Drago Point Facade... guy. Sound-wise? the heck? Did he change his laugh finally? That's a good thing. Alright, he's gonna yell at them for not finding a needle. We can't go in there though, there's lava! We hate lava! We'll smell like bacon. Horns? What does he look like, the fierce pork trooper now? Yeah, that's my reaction to that! Hi guys, how you doing? Ah! I just wanted to listen to the conversation! Tell us more about Facade! Alright, fine. You want fire? I'll give you Fire Gamma. Kumatora's new psychic ability she picked up as we were leveling. You guys like fire? I got fire for you! That was actually a pretty good animation. I like that. I enjoy Fire Gamma. All the Gammas in general. Just wait till we get Lama Lana Gamma. That's gonna be really crazy. I want some Thunder Gamma too. Why the heck not? Gamma for everybody! And there's a cup of pork noodles. Why can't I have nice things like life noodles? No, only the Mr. Saturns make those, apparently. And I can just bash through these guys, too. Who cares about Sky Titani? Well, actually, I do. Yeah, I could use some money off these fights instead of just, like, running into them. And there you go, there's the front side of Miss Lava. Right there. She has, she has beaded glasses. It's the Secretary of Flame! Mr. Magma, your four o'clock is here, and he won't stop bashing me! This is what I did not want! I did not want Fire Gamma! I want to use Fire Gamma, but I don't want to be set on Fire Gamma. You get it? Hey, I, I just realized, Fire Gamma, and she looks like a Fire Grandma! It, it rhymes, a little bit. And here's another new enemy, right here. Remember the fireflies? This is the Pyrefly. Same guy as before, he breathes fire, he charges at you. But we have four flints in the group now instead of just one. So it makes up for our lack of swing. And no more Miss Lavas ever. There's a lot of side passages here in the volcano. Remember the volcano in Earthbound? Yeah, same idea here. And it's filled with mushrooms for no apparent reason. The Scamperin Shroom! Yeah, we had the Ramblin' Shroom, now we got the Scamperin' Shroom. I don't know what Ramblin' and Scamperin' are different, but... yeah. They're not different in the way they attack. They bash you and try to make you feel strange. And another Saltwater Gun. In fact, I think I have a few of those laying around. Yeah, I do! Here, Duster. You have a pathetic inventory space. Have these Saltwater Guns, and, I don't know, shoot... shoot fire people with them. Or maybe robots. I don't think any robots are gonna appear here. 
Or robotic people. Never. This is a volcano. Robots don't exist well in heat. Instead, we got lava creatures. And also, this little side area. Ah. Shave and a haircut. Two farts. They even keep them there. Wouldn't all that gas being released cause an explosion in a volcano? As I was saying before I got it farted on? This is the rest area. Remember those in Earthbound? I remember those. If you didn't level up at the beginning of this area, this is another good place to level up. Just keep on running in here, grab that butterfly, go back out, and fight that guy over there. This guy, right here. I'm actually gonna take a few defense turns so I can show you something neat you could do with the Magman. Yeah, everybody's guarding. I just want him to turn around and start doing things. This guy has the ability to call Pyreflies. And when he does so, you can kill the Pyreflies and then let him summon more Pyreflies. I'm gonna try and make him do it at least once so you see what I'm talking about. Alright, fine, he doesn't want to do it. Here, you can die now. You have permission. Okay, there he goes. I had to persuade him into releasing these Pyreflies. Kill those things, let him summon more. Kill those things, let him summon more. You can get like 5,000 experience if you get lucky and he keeps on doing it over and over again. Me, I decided to take the story safe route and went and farmed him out in the front of the volcano instead of here. Because I didn't want to, you know, engage in any cutscenes that you guys might have missed. And there you go. You see that? Got like 2,000 experience points just from that. Eh, I run into you. I can. I'm overleveled. This is my... this is my perk. I'm really, really broke, but I can run people over. So I guess it is a little bit better. What the heck? Mrs. Lava just jumped out of there and tried to give me a big kiss, and I wasn't really gonna stand for that. I wasn't gonna tolerate that. Oh, wow. That was really easy for a lava area. We got to the needle! Friggy is going to die. Uh, who is that? And why are you laughing like facade? You're not facade. Your name is clearly Interpreter. That looks like facade. Kinda. I don't remember butt jetpacks. And uh, those nose horns that he's got going on here. I was thinking other kinds of horns, but apparently he, that, that's what he is. And it looks like Facade completely lost his ability to talk. He now speaks in smooth jazz. Which interpreter is going to translate for us? It doesn't sound like he's happy. Blunder. Thunder Tower? Oh, okay, that's what they called it after I exploded it. I keep on calling it Thunder Tower. Facade, this is Interpreter's first day on the job here. Come on. You gotta speak a little slower, Facade. Thunder Tower. I... I didn't throw you off Thunder Tower. You slept on a banana. You were being careless. Well, you, you should be. You, you slipped on a banana peel, and we were laughing at your misfortune. We returned to Fable to what? You step on a banana! Set it on fire or something! Are you gonna make us slip on a banana into the lava? No. It looks like he wants to fight with us. He ain't gonna lose ever again! The main goal in this is not fighting us. I'm telling you right now, that's a bad idea. You will never not lose if you fight us. Oh. Is that a different from a uh, childlike teenage terribleness? Oh, thanks for the description. He, he's not very informative here. About the terribleness that's gonna happen to us. Alright, let's just get this over with. My dream come true! We get the beat up facade. Who looks a, more, a lot more like an instrument than a man. Check it out, he has the, the finger things on his hat. Of course, the saxophone nose antler things. Whatever. 
your facade, and now you are going to die. To keep me from dying, I'm going to put up shields and offense omegas. And I want to see if I could make him cry. I mean, he has one robotic eye and a shield, which I should get rid of. But maybe I'll be able to make him miss most of his attacks. It's a crapshoot. I can tell you that right now. Now, you know what? I'm just going to work on his defense for a little bit. And he has this ability, too. You can make one person nauseous. He also has many, many other abilities. This is a new and improved facade. He's fully loaded with all the bells and whistles. Which I'm going to take away from him. Sorry. Say goodbye to your defense. It's no longer going to be there. And also, that shield. That shield irks me and it has to go. Sorry. Now you're shieldless! How do you feel about this, Facade? Facade would say toot 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 toot, because uh, he can't speak anymore. He also has a flash ability. He can blind pretty much everybody in your party. You have to take care of that on Bony. He's a physical guy. Or physical dog. Lucas, I'm pretty sure he could just la Milana this entire encounter. Alright, Facade. It's time for that grown-up terribleness, but it's going to be on you. See this? This will explode you! And, uh, some of this as well, this Thunder Beta. I wish I had Gamma, but bear with me here. And also, let's try a saltwater gun. Why the heck not? And this pencil rocket, I've been saving it, so I might as well use it. I have explosives! Don't miss on me, man. That saltwater gun kind of, kind of stinks. This guy is overall resistant to most of my abilities, but Thunder Beta is the cheapest direct damage attack I got, so... We'll just go with that. See? Not even La Milana hurts him too much. I should take care of that blindness on Boney. Boney, stop crying! It's just facade. We've, we've met him before. He was kind of pointless. I should try that. Here, have a bow tie! Might as well. I'm not going to use it for anything. I'm just going to throw a bow tie at him. And I wonder if the friend's yo-yo will do something to him. Here, take a look at what I got. Yeah! That's what the friend's yo-yo does. Some of these bosses will actually applaud for you for getting that. They're like, great! You killed Master P's maid robot. It's this great. You also got a Gatling laser. That doesn't do much. Ah. Uh, okay, see you later, Dragonfly. That was very helpful. Thank you. Alright, enough messing around with items. It's time for killing Facade until he dies. See, he enjoys it! That's what I think, anyway. I just have to do is just keep on laying on the damage. Facade. I can't get over those horns, though. It's, it's, it's too much. When he said horns, they thought they meant the other thing. When he's low on HP, he'll start doing that as well. That means this fight is almost over when he starts scarfing down luxury bananas. I hope we don't slip on any. Maybe I should have anti-cried Lucas, too. So he can do some damage. Without using his psychic powers. That's right, that's all you can do now. I'm doing more damage than you. Yeah, you know what? Get rid of that crying. No one's allowed to cry in my party. Evidenced by this awesome comboing. No, this is new. I didn't see this the last time I fought him. It's just a, another version of Bash for him. Plays his horns at us. I'm just dreading one ability that he does have, though. Which is why I'm going to heal up my party a little bit here. He does have a very powerful ability that I haven't seen him use, so I'm kind of dreading it. It has something to do with missiles and bombs. And I forgot... Yeah, Duster's nauseous. He can't eat. That's what happens when you're nauseous. He can't ingest any food products. And also, he does that sometimes as well. Facade actually has a double attack. 
it's it's kind of a crapshoot if you get it or not. No, it's time to end this guy. Just stop. Stop do doing what you're doing. Which is uh kind of hard to make him do when he keeps on spraying status effects at me. Stop making me feel things. I don't like feeling things. All you feel now is pain. Facade. A lot more frustrating than he looks. But a lot of experience points. It's almost equivalent to a black beanling. That's great. Fresh new levels for us. Fresh psychic powers? Maybe. Alright, Facade. It's time for you to get pushed into the lava and die. You improved yourself, but not enough. Why are you laughing? I should be the one laughing. You lost. By the way, why aren't you vanishing or exploding or something? I beat you! You're supposed to die! No, he swears revenge. I'll get more horns, and I'll meet you somewhere you don't like. Oh, really? I thought he was saying it joyfully. He was like, thank you for beating me. I'm so happy about myself now. Well, Facade, I only have one thing to say to you. Toot 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 toot. Have your translator translate that. By the way, why is he wearing a TV sticker? Alright. See you later, misinterpreter. I'm gonna assume that is a lipstick. I thought it was a guy the first time I played this, but that's obviously a woman bod. Well, I came all this way through lava and facades to get here. Alright everybody, front row seats. I'm about to kill Phrygia. This is gonna be great. Five dollar pay-per-view. I'm gonna pull this needle. Everybody pay? Good. I bet there's gonna be another long explosion sequence. Oh hey! I predicted it. I'm psychic or something. Or just tends to be a thing every time we pull these needles. You know what would really suck right now? This volcano erupting and igniting all of this gas that I've just unleashed? Why do they always have to jab their needles into a gas main? Why does that sound always have to come before the flash? Lots of questions. One of the questions is, what kind of La Milana do we get now? La Milana Gamma. The mother has been awakened. And she's not happy. Hey Frigia, it looks like you're vanishing. What was that sound, by the way? Is that you applauding? Or was that the sound of you running in high heels? Well, it's a good thing you were here just in time to die. There's only three more needles left now, and we're gonna get them all. And this one's really detail-oriented, so she's gonna tell us more about the needles and where they are, unlike the other Majipsies. One needle is on Taintain Island, south of Tasmili. And that's guarded by Mixolydia. Another needle is in... Oh, goodness gracious. Why do you have to have weird names for everything? Chupi Chupoi? I'm gonna pronounce it that way. In Oriander Mountains. That's Ionia's needle. Finally. I wonder why we couldn't get that one first. Yeah. Detail-oriented and all that. Which means she's gonna cover all of the unturned stones. We'll have the power of darkness. The light of darkness. The power of the voodoo. Who do? We do. Do what? The power of the Lucas. Alright, I don't know what that was all about, but you're welcome. You're welcome for killing you. Detail-oriented and all that. I like to write down things. I have a little bit of an OCD. Here's a notebook. That we could just take a look at and check out where we need to go. And one other thing, the needle that's in the Dark Dragon's head? Frigia has no clue where that one is. Detail-oriented my butt, you don't have all your bases covered? Because Locria is missing too. The final Majipsy. Looks like getting that last needle is going to be some kind of harrowing adventure. Maybe it'll involve a city. And a familiar face, maybe. Just maybe. 
Here, don't forget about me. Here's a memento. Do you have the inventory space? Because I'll just vanish with it if you don't. Alright, we're just gonna keep this with an item hobo. I hope you understand. And that's it for Phrygia. See you later, Phrygia. Ugh! Ugh! No! No, no, no! No, don't do that! Please! Th don't do that, Phrygia. Ugh. Oh, great. We've been cursed by the ghost of Phrygia. He's gonna be in our dreams from now on. Everything's gonna be in our dreams. All the Majipsies are gonna be there in my brain. They're gonna have a tea party in my brain, and they're gonna bring lava, and it's gonna be a lava party. And I'm not gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna wake up screaming every night. That's the wrong door. I'm disgusted by what just happened, and what Friggy just promised to do to me. Ugh! <laughs> oh. Maybe I should break my truce at the Majipsies. This is. I'm killing them, and now I'm being threatened. Ugh. I thought it was supposed to save the world, but now they're taking it a little personal, maybe. Mr. Saturn's help me! Friggy is gonna haunt me! Nah, they don't care. He's busy looking at the sky. But they did set up a new ladder! A non Mr. Saturn ladder! Yep, that's what you can do on ladders. Or we could just fall. You know what? You have choices. You can't fall off that ladder. We gotta use the normal ladder. Like a normal person. And... This ladder... Yeah, they got a little overzealous. It doesn't lead anywhere. I might as well just drop off our memento with the item hobo. Maybe Phrygia will haunt him instead. Here, where, where did I put that thing? Ah, there it is. Yeah. I got plenty of double jerky, Awaza. Alright, I would stop in the hot spring right now, but I have a feeling I'm going to be doing so later. Oh, yeah, that's what I assumed the last time. That Mr. Saturn's a girl. That's what he meant. And here's the ladder team. After their failure in the championships, they're training once again. Hopefully they don't sneeze and fart on people this time. Uh, you mean play with you, not play at you. I've been playing at you the entire video. The entire game, actually. You have new things to say now. Like the Homestead Act! I, I don't understand Homestead Act. It's not KO. It's not KO at all. Why are you citing legislation at me? Oh, I, I expected you to say we are all Mr. Saturn there. I wouldn't have realized it otherwise. Yeah, where to go? Well, the notebook says I have to go to Tain Tain Island. So, let's wash our hands of this place and get out of here. Screaming. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. That's the exit. Hey! I chased you guys off! Don't bring your fright bots back! And don't bring the green people, either! You're evicted! Shoo! By the way, you dropped something there. You should go and pick that up. Well, that's just great. I am now stuck in Saturn Valley. You cursed pig masks, you are not nice people! Next time I'm Mother 3, I'm stuck in Mr. Saturn land. Help me! Someone help me! Ah, ha, ha. No!